Just a few weeks ago, there were reports of fake police officers pulling over drivers in the Cleveland area and robbing them. Actual police officers arrested one suspect, but detectives are still looking for three others. And now there is a report of another fake law enforcement officer. This time it's in Wayne County. And News 5's Brent Caswell tells us the victim's message for other drivers and breaks down some key descriptions to be on the lookout for. The Wayne County Sheriff's Office is stressing caution and vigilance from drivers as they take to Northeast Ohio roadways. This warning comes after three reports of a law enforcement officer imposter pulling over drivers on Route 83 south of Burbank and east of Worcester. Captain Douglas Hunter says the impersonator is driving a dark sedan with a spotlight and red and blue lights in the visor area. He's also wearing a uniform with the word sheriff across the chest with a duty belt and a body cam. It appears that this person's targeting women and asking them to get out of their cars. One of the victims, Tabitha King, tells me she was driving home on 83 last Tuesday night around 9 p.m. That's when she says a dark vehicle pulled out and started following her. Car whipped out behind me, headlights. They were just red lights um, and they used their headlights to pull me over. So I just assumed that it was a police officer. King didn't feel comfortable showing her face on camera since no arrests have been made yet. She says a man matching the sheriff's office description started asking her a series of questions and never asked her for her license or registration. He asked me if I had a weapon in the vehicle, which I thought was an odd first question. And then he wanted me to get out of the car and inspect my headlights to see if they were working, which I thought was very odd. I immediately said, no, I'm not getting out of the car. He then wanted my phone. He asked me to hand over my phone. That was King's first time ever getting pulled over, but she knew something was strange. I just felt this overwhelming sense of danger that this was not right. This is not how, you know, that things like this go. Hunter says the sheriff's office isn't sure if there are multiple imposters or just one, but adds in any instance of uncertainty to call 911 or the dispatch center immediately and never exit your vehicle. Generally, law enforcement officers are not going to be performing general traffic duties with an unmarked car. Luckily, King's car doors were locked. She left her driver's side window cracked and her husband began calling her out of concern. The man then asked me if I was going to answer that call. Was somebody expecting me? Did I live close by? When King responded yes, she says the imposter went back to his car and took off. Trust her gut. There's, there was a reason why I felt the way I did. In Wayne County, Bryn Caswell, News 5.